back. We have a warning this afternoon from the BBB about something more and more of us seem to be doing more and more often. That is shopping online. Kelly Trevino is here and boy, the scammers have come out to play on this one, haven't they? They truly have. Um, we looked at the numbers and it was incredible. Last year, the numbers almost doubled. It, there were 10,000 scams reported, online scams. That that was doubled. And yeah, and that's before. that's huge when you think about that. And you tell people all the time that if you don't want to get caught up in something like this, you have to know who you're dealing with, right? Right, but these scammers are so good at what they do. They take brands that you know and they and you trust and they put that into, they embed that into code onto social media sites and things. They're using famous people's pictures. Mm -hmm. So you have to do a little bit of research. Make sure yeah. that if, if it, especially if it's on a social media site or comes through an email, do some research on that photo, do a reverse search, see where it's being used, and you'll probably see it's a lot of places. Now, can my, if I update my antivirus software, does this give me any protection or it, does it matter? It does help quite a bit, and this is both for your desktop and for your personal device. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're like me, but um, I usually, when I see that software update, there's kind on, of a On cringe. the phone, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I have to relearn things. Right. Um, but it's actually there, if you read it, it says for bugs and fixes and things like that. So it could be that they're protecting you and you need to download it immediately. Let's go very quickly through some items here that you say can also help protect us. Number one, you mentioned using secure sites. Yes, look up at the browser bar, look at the URL and see if there's HTTPS. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that S actually stands for secure. secure. You need that S. Don't get also, uh, understand the terms of what you're getting into. You'd be surprised how many people do not read all of that because they're just wanting to make that purchase quickly. Yeah. Uh, understand the terms, what happens if, you, if it doesn't show up, if you don't like the product, product or um, what the refund policy is. Also, number three here, why do I want to pay with a credit card? Because that's going to protect you more than other forms of payment. If mm -hmm. you wire that money, it's gone just like handing a stranger cash. And we even see in some of these scams where they're asking for gift cards. So pay with your credit card. Also, uh, when I do buy something online, you mentioned keeping the documentation. What are we talking about? Um, you can keep the email that mm -hmm. shows that the, the receipt. Uh, make sure that you keep the page where it shows that you paid. Keep the, this documentation in case you need to put in a complaint or a dispute later, mm -hmm. especially with your financial institution. And that's where that credit card is going to come in. Okay. Handy. If you've got questions about this or any other topic, Kelly's probably got some answers for you. Why don't you email her, <laughs> Kay Trevino at Corpus Christi. Dot BBB dot org. Call her at 852-4991. Very helpful folks over there. Uh, you won't go wrong. If you need some help, they'll be the ones to give it to you. Kelly, thanks. Thank Good you. stuff Thank as you. always.